Earthquake is happening. Oh my god, why nobody have clothes? My gosh, what the hell is wrong with you guys? Oh, so that's like interim houses upgraded. Sup guys, it's 10 Kosh and we are in settlement survival again with our fantastic settlement that is uh, in a really good shape. Look at this, it's huge, it's getting bigger and it's self-sufficient. We don't have to micromanage everything anymore. We got enough people to work on the farms and everywhere just what i wanted look at that we got so many things happening here so what are we going to do today uh we are going to i'm not really sure we're going to trade and unlock new things and get new technologies i think we don't have technology points but we got bunch of schools over here look at that that's a campus for us kids will study there and they are like most of them are free but they still give you 44 signs, so that's really nice. In comparison with the research institute, that gives you 36. The hell? I don't know. Last year production is 4.6k over here. We don't we don't see the production over here. That's interesting. Maybe it's overall science production. I'm not sure. What about our oh wow, our beverages is getting low, so we need some more water for our city because it's growing. I knew that that would happen, so let's start by building the reservoir. There are no places closer to the city, so it will be here. The river is being exploited quite a lot. <laughs> Things are getting hairy here. Butcher. Uh, trying to produce meat. An output of meat chop is reached. Let's make it bigger. I mean, you can't have too many meat chops, right? So what else we can do? Uh, science is the main thing for us and... I wanted to start trading and form caravans in different areas to get gears or something like that for ourselves. Maybe some seeds, but it requires quite a lot of workforce, guys. We are producing light lamp oil over here that we can trade as well. I'll make it more. Like, this is a good and later and is a good thing that we can trade. How many do we have in our storage? 323. This is a good stuff to trade because it's pretty expensive. And we can upgrade all those buildings with specific resources when we have them. And for us right now, the good thing will be getting either toolkits or ink and paper. Both of those we can't produce yet, so that will be beneficial if we get it. So let's try to get our hands on something cool like that. Gears are a good option as well. But yeah, let's get to trading so we can get some good things for us. So for the gear, the cheapest gears are at Rainia right now. We already have some reputation with them, so that might be nice. Let's try to get another caravan to them. So that's what I want to purchase. I want to get wheat seeds so we can start producing floor and bread and everything. And the gear. Uh, I will sell them all my gold, because why the hell not? I don't have any use for it for right now. And I want to add like the value so we will get positive and I want to get silver from them so we can get positive uh, income in our village. So 300 laterons will actually add quite a lot to the price. So now we got 17,000 and we get that for 15. So we should get about 2.5, 2.3k silver from this trade. Uh, can we sell something else for them? Yes, we can. We still have some storage over here. Price, medical soap. That's like a good thing to trade, but I think I need it myself, but I'll trade it anyway. Because I can. Because we can, you know, produce more ourselves. And I can sell some more lamp oil. I think we can sell all 100 of that. There we go. So that will be a good trade in my opinion, because that will be a really beneficial for us. We will get the seeds, we will get higher reputation. Let's do this. Uh, risk of death have to be lower. This is way too high. Let's say 1.3% nice. And we got a lot of free laborers. Yeah, as you increase it, it's not really good. It's not getting better. I don't want any insurance. Let's form the caravan and get going. So we got the trade going, guys. Legit! Uh, trading with our neighbors, that's nice. That will allow us to get better reputation with those guys, Rainier, right? And um, get us some new technologies here. That that will be nice. Gem mine, unlimited total output, gems. How do you like that? We can then use that to trade with others. Now, what else I want to do? Oh, this one already have later. I wanted to put later ones here, but they already there. Let's add one more later over here as well. And this one should have nice we already did that so that should give us more production capabilities and i want to upgrade those 
soon when we'll get technologies. Here is my forge and it should produce building kits. What else it can produce? Tool kits, but not yet. Uh, and gears, not yet. But it will start doing building kits for us. And it's actually, is it working? It got everything it needs. Glass, we need an additional worker here, of course. Lack of room, we don't have steel. So how do we get more steel? We get more of those smelters then. How many smelters do we have? We have one over here. We can't make it more efficient. Where's the second one? The second one is right here. We need additional personnel there. There we go. That will work better. Let's check out our supplies of refined fuel. Oh, it's, it's very low. We got plenty of ore. We got two mines right now, but we got only one refined fuel. We will get immigrants soon that will allow them to join us. And we got this interim housing not finished yet. Like there are still people living there. So we need more housing, even more housing. What the hell? How can I feed all those people? I think that's pretty much as far as this village can grow like this part. Because this one is huge already by default. But I mean, in order to make this one better, we can't do anything. We can upgrade all those buildings though. That will increase the radius. But that requires some cool stuff that we don't have. So no, thank you. It doesn't fit so close. Oh, it fits here though. There we go. Another fuel factory on its way. Because, well, yeah, that's a requirement for us. We really need more of those things to produce more stuff. Clothing production is underway. It's like doing its best. But sadly, there are not many things we can do about that to make it better. Immigrants arrive. Do we want them? I mean, uh, yeah, sure. Let's, let's let them in. Except let's see if they got the plague with them. I didn't save this time, so that should probably kill my village. Where are they? Uh, it's it's different sickness. It's not that bad. I, I don't think it's a plague. Tuberculosis. Okay, it's not that bad. Yeah, we need hospital to clear uh, to, to, to take clear of that. Pandemic flu. Like tuberculosis, we can't clear that because we need luxury bedding. So we're not there yet anyway. So I hope they will find their own way to heal their wounds or just die without getting too many people sick. Uh, actually, people are already dying of tuberculosis. We got two people left. Come on, guys, just die yourself. Don't, don't, don't get other people sick, please. Thank you. I think we need to get to the wearable as soon as possible because our clothes are like running low. We are producing it nonstop, but that's not enough. I'm about to create another of those advanced tailors because, like, yeah, we don't have that much leather reserves, but we got different other stuff that we can use. So is there any area where we can fit another advanced tailor? I think this production area is pretty much full right now. Uh, we have some space right here next to this storage area. So let's place it there. And my God, if that won't work, I don't know how to get them clothing because those guys, they don't really care. They just use up those things really fast. So we got only one person with the plague, the farmer. Um, I hope that she will either... Oh, two. Okay, the plague is still spreading. Because I don't know why they are not in the hospital. Why they are running around the area. They shouldn't be. That's pretty annoying, to be honest. Well, there is only one people left. Cynthia Fisherman. She is walking in the wilderness and hopefully will be eaten by the bear. Her health is really low. I hope this guy won't be contacting the sickness from her. Well, whatever. Before this number reached like 10, we're good. I hope she will do... Oh, yeah, she's dead. Nice. No sick people. How many people have died? I have no idea. But we got 41 laborers instead of 20. So we are positive in terms of population. The housing is completed, though. So we got even more houses. And still 47 people need more houses. So it didn't change anything. We still need more. And there is no way to do that fast enough. This is hilarious, guys. Earthquake is happening. Uh, one of the... No, not, nothing was destroyed. We got good buildings here, right? Oh, it, it's coming. It's still, it's still happening right now. Okay. I think that maybe if we create not down jackets, but rough jackets, rough clothes, they will be produced faster. So let's try doing this. We will add those. We will get the capacity of like 400 over here. And I want to see if those will be produced faster than these. Because, like, they produce, what, about 130 per year, which is not that much. It's not that high amount. And they have the gear. If those will produce, like, 400 of those, that means that those things can be produced way more fast than others. 
linen. We got 266, so linen is in a good shape. We're still good in that term. We need uh, cotton as well for other cloth. But we can get that a bit later. Hello, Merchant Ward. Can you sell us? Cat. I want to get cat in the every house, but price is very steep. 1,000. Thank you very much. You can go. Uh, excuse me. Uh, how do I say goodbye to this ship? Ah, there we go. This one. This miss. Farewell. Another 20 by 20 pasture. March has arrived. So I'm like, oh, we have to do the farm manual stuff. Not anymore. It's being done automatically right now. Water is good. Everything's good. Ore is going down a bit because like we are refining a lot of that into the steel. Fuel factory add additional person over here so we can... Oh, refined fuel is getting high reserves here. That's nice. Uh, we are getting the building kits. But I'm not sure that we really need them because we will need tool kit. That will require steel tool, leather, and rope. My god, the gear, steel tool, and and steel. That's that's expensive. So we need a lot of steel tools. Do we have a lot of those being produced? How many do we have? We have 63 in the reserves. Not that many. So we might need another of those advanced smithies working on the tools. Okay, another refugees that require food. Let's give them that food. That's not a problem. I mean, we can afford it. We got plenty of food, so we're good. Mm, 27 citizens are homeless. Did they join us? They joined us, so we got even more population right now. My god, that interim housing can't fit anyone. Only 24 people. Go over there and live here. We go oh, no, not anymore. <laughs> okay. Can we get another interim housing, maybe? It doesn't fit here. It's, it's, it's too big. That's what she said. I don't know where to place it, honestly. Like, guys, this is huge. We need second of those. I had no idea that that will ever happen. That we will need more interim housing. People without houses are in a bad shape. That's not a good thing. That's not supposed to happen at all. Oh my god, why nobody have clothes? My gosh, what the hell is wrong with you guys? Production, this year 125. Production, this year 1423. So we need more people making rough clothes right here. That Durability is 400. How long that will last? Here it's like 450. The hell is wrong with you guys? Ooh, guys, look at that. We got the buffalo right now. So we can grow not only alpaca, but also a buffalo. The hell is this? Easter egg. All right, open the huge Easter egg. There are gifts. Okay, nice. Happy Easter, guys. <laughs> uh, let's create... Well, I mean, we can make it right here. This will be the pasture areas after those farms, I think. Do we want to do it like this? Do we want to save up this one tile over here? I don't think so. We want it to be more efficient, though. So let's get two of those, actually. Because we have serious issues with the cloth right now. We will need those feathers anyway. So we will get one alpaca and one G's farm over here. I might need to create... Oh, we got secondary advanced smithy. Output limit is reached. Let's go for a steel tool again. What else can you do? Not many things. Let's get more steel tools then. So what I mean that I think we need to create another of those advanced tailors just in order to produce the normal rough clothes because yeah that's that's really necessary at this point we are, still don't have enough and that might end badly for us so there we go i'm placing advanced tailor over here as well uh i'll be placing the road right here so people can get to those farms faster look at them go and we got additional point here what do we want to spend it on there are two options either we will get wearables, so cloth will last for 50% longer, so that's should be that should be nice. That should save us, actually. Or livability uh, for bigger house. Oh, that will take a while. We need marquee first. Then we can get luxury house. We can actually create it. And one family. Still one family, so it's not that good. But that will lower the stress, so they, people will be happier. That's nice, but not yet. And then we will need villas. Uh, two families. And luxury apartment. If the family... Wait. Are those bigger? Four by four. Is it the same house? Yeah, it's the same house, but upgraded. So basically, it's, the house can fit more people, but uh, villas will require more space. So we'll have to build a separate area for villas or for luxury apartments, because those are bigger. Ah, but we have resources to create luxury apartments, though.
Yeah, it's basically upgraded interim house. People will be happier there. So we might need to create one of those somewhere just so people won't be homeless. Do we have homeless people? We have 13 homeless people. The hell is this? Okay, we're building it right here at the edge. And I'm destroying some roads here in order to do that. Interim housing, let's go. More homeless guys. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, mine doesn't have any reserves left. Nice. What do we have here? Stone doesn't have any reserves left. That's nice. We can upgrade the stone though. We need 60 steel, but we'll get it soon and we should prioritize this. Oh, look at that. We don't have one of the administrators. It's left. Processing proficiency, repointment invalid, or farm yield. I don't know what's that. Let's try this. Repointment invalid. I don't know what does it means. Like, auto reportment costs 5,000 each time. And we don't have that money. So, oh, we got the full, like, we got all the administrators. We can't allow anymore. So, our city reached the population of, well, maximum that the game's supposed to have, I guess. Because, let's get more storage space here. We can increase storage space by using bricks, actually. So, let's, let's do that. The game wanted us to do that. We will do that, because... Otherwise, our production capabilities will go really haywire. Uh, yeah, that would be nice, but we don't have enough soap for this. The health is dropping. Everything is dropping right now because we got homeless people. We got all that weird crap happening. Interim housing. Nice. Can we get a cat here? We have one cat, but it's not here. We are about to get another technology point. Oh, wait. We got one beforehand. When we didn't use it, right? We will get another one soon. So we'll get two. That's nice. So what we can do with that? Okay, that's interesting. Animal slaughterer. I think this is really good. That will increase our leather production, I think. But first of all, we can start producing the furniture. I think that's important because that will allow us to upgrade some buildings to specific points and we can sell it afterwards. We can get to the brick road that will improve movement speed by 100%. This one is 75%, so people will move faster. That will drastically improve the production rate and that will only cost, well, bricks. We can get the jade and gold. My god, that's expensive. Uh, roads that increase movement speed even more, but that's a luxury right now. So I don't think that I'm ready for that. Or we can get ourselves the house upgrades that will allow us to get one family to be bigger and uh, larger stockpiles and people will be happier. That will require a lot of resources to upgrade them, although that will be really expensive, but in the end, probably useful. Or we can get senior housing that will accommodate a lot of people next to the marketplace that will kind of keep the old people in here people will move into the used houses faster and then we can get lower distress by this one so that will be like 10 percent happier people that will allow us to get 10 percent more worker efficiency i think i'll go with the senior housing right now we can afford it and then we'll decide what to go because entertainment will be nice that will make things better for us where do we want old fellas to live that's like retirement house so cool i want to live in one of those <laughs> i don't know why i think that we need to start creating living areas over here that's necessary because we don't have enough storage space so we can build um marketplace there some basic amenities old people houses there and then we'll construct villas there that will be like a luxury area for us i'm not sure about that though because honestly so far most of the area like the bottom area is mostly used by us we can get some production here but that's hard top area that can be luxury area for us we can get this building there as well but uh we need to get some housing there straight away so i'm not ready to do that i might can we yeah it have to be half into the marketplace area oh you know what we can do no we can't i thought we can get the expansion and that will improve the radius of marketplace and look at that we got the positive clothing already that's really nice so Finally, we are at the point where people don't go around naked and that's because we created two of those facilities that produce the cheapest cloth available. I don't know why it works like that, why people are getting naked straight away, but they like to go naked. I can't do anything about that. Well, guys, I would say that our village is growing pretty nicely. We got more pastures around here. We got... Uh, old people house here senior housing that needs puppy to make it better actually we need to feed fill them with everything like they need all those things because they deserve it they worked hard for the uh, our village prosperity all this area is mostly filled we upgraded the quarry we upgraded 
uh, what else? I don't know, we've created more housing here, in term housing here as well, with the better beds or something, I don't know. A lot of things, but uh, more immigrants, thank you guys. Uh, should we let them in? Let's accept them, I can't let people go. They don't have any sickness though, that's nice. So can they fit in our interim housing? Will it be enough for them? I don't know. But we got, what, 450 population. That's insane. So we need to work on our technology faster so we can get new buildings ready. And so we can get, yeah, we need to get luxury apartment. We have everything that we need for its production. We need luxury furniture, silver cutlery. I don't know how to produce that yet. And luxury bedding for villas for our you know, fashion area, and I think we might need to create another living area somewhere over here next time, like, just for the people. Our cemetery is full, so we might want to rebuild it somewhere. Like, we can make, oh, we can make this area, like, full of cemeteries, the dead land. That will be nice, right? Next time we'll do that. If I won't remember, if I won't forget about that, because I can. But yeah, we will do all that next time, because right now I'm a bit tired already. We did a good job with cloth and people are not naked anymore. That's fantastic. And we got really good production of steel already and all that stuff. Some upgrades were really nice. I like that. Let me know what you think about this episode of Settlement Survival down below in the video comments. I hope you enjoyed it as I did. Our village is prospering over... 450 population right now it's crazy and we need more science now um yeah while we're going to the comments don't forget to check out the video description for the playlist with other videos of settlement survival my other youtube channel social media and discord and other useful stuff in there as well and yeah thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stand kosh out have a good one bye